Hey guys, here's a little update shot on the uh, Sigma SE HF 360 160 to 10 meter antenna. All right. So there it is. It's about 20 feet tall. That's all it is, about 20 feet tall. Has an 80 meter radial and a 40 meter radial. Just a basic little mount there with some bricks. A little choke there. So it's a couple hundred bucks on Amazon. I got the link on my QRZ page. Um, so it's a good antenna, man. It it, um, it tunes up pretty nicely. Uh, for 160, you're gonna need an external tuner, obviously, to touch it up, but it tunes up everything else within reason. You can slide these whips in and out and you can adjust the whip length. I just went with a regular secured link and uh, this thing just works fine. Look, it, that, it's a low footprint. You could use this parks on the air, summit on the air, field day operations, take it up, take it down. It just screws, you know, screws there and screws up there. That's it, it's a wrap. Um, you can un unbolt it. So yeah, it's not pretty, it's not sexy. Oh, and it's one kilowatt rated, y'all. I uh, definitely put through uh, 900 watts on this thing. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. I put 900 watts all day, all right? Anyhow, it, it, it's an option, right? I mean, I have some other wire antennas here, but uh, it's it's fun to have a, a vertical, I have a vertical next to me here <laughs> up this guy. It's about 67 feet. Um, so, it, you know, um, but it doesn't get 160, 80, or 40, right? Or even 20. This thing is resonant at 20 meters, y'all, out of the box. And believe you me, there are days when you get on 20 meters and the DX is flowing. And if you have that vertical and that low angle takeoff, you will outperform a beam. I know. I, <laughs> trust me. Uh, that, it might not make sense, but the results are in the, uh, in the log book. All right, everybody. Once again, the Sigma SEHF 360, <clears throat> 160 to 10, vertical antenna, one kilowatt rated. All right, take care.